the ultimate DIY gaming experience. Set the airflow to 11. Perhaps not sensible, but extreme and awesome. These are all things that Cooler Master has said about the new HALF 700. But is it just really heavy? Or is it also all that stuff? Oh God, oh my God, I'm gonna blow a sphincter. To find out, we got the fastest and hottest gaming components on the market, and we're gonna be putting this case up against an open air test bench to see if its claims hold true, or if it's like the other half of Cooler Master's products. Thanks to Origin PC for sponsoring this video. Origin's newest line of custom gaming desktops offers Intel's latest 12th gen Alder Lake processors, DDR5 memory, and free lifetime 24 seven US based support. Learn more at the link in the video description. Well, this is about as hungry as it gets these days, in it. Oh, well, especially that GPU. Okay. Have you oh, noticed anything different about it? Well, what I noticed is there was a little bit of goop on the P mode, Q mode switch. I was thinking more so you'd notice like the holes in the back plate, but. Okay. I mean, can this cooler even handle it? No, it's slower than stock. Oh God. <laughs> this isn't a video about the test bench line. Just build a PC. Got my jerry rig everything box cutter. Now we don't have a price for this thing, but based on the fact that it weighs 25 kilos, that is about 55 pounds for our American friends, I can tell you it's probably not going hey, to Linus, be cheap. Hey Linus, 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 there's instructions on the top of how to open it. Oh. Oh. Fortunately, you did find the tool thing. It's in a bad location from the factory in this one. It's changing for the production unit. Oh yeah, it's like hidden. Boom! <laughs> you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it if this got stuck in here. There it is. Oh, yeah. Holy crap, are these all glass? Yeah. Wow, that is a really aggressive looking design. Oh my God, yeah. Look how freaking wide this thing is. They were like, no, it's not wide enough yet. Let's put the IO on the wide. See, it's not really the side, it's the wide. It's the side of the wide. Oh, this is gonna be tedious. <laughs> oh, save a couple for later when they're lit up. Or you can keep it. Oh my God, no. Oh no, and these middle ones are split. We're at the point now where computer cases are getting so complicated, they're gonna have to start having like a PDI delivery and inspection fee. In terms of features at the front, we've got our reset and power switches, our microphone and headphone jack, four USB 3 type A ports, USB type C, and this display can show system information like temperatures, fan RPMs, kind of whatever you want to show on it. It is so heavy. Okay. Is the paint supposed to be something special? Yeah, this is a pre-production and they found in shipping them to people that the paint gets a bit scuffed up. Oh, got it, okay. You can actually really tell how engineering sample it is in spots like this. One other change in the production version is they wanted this to be totally toolless, but they're gonna add a screw here because apparently they ran into issues where people would pick it up and it would pop off, which could be really, really bad. Hmm. You could kill a man with this thing. Tempered glass side panels. Vibration dampeners, magnetic filters. Whoa, that's where the weight is. Oh, oh yeah, that is weighty. That is substantial. <laughs> I mean, that's what thick frickin' tempered yeah. glass will do for you. Wow. Uh, these are 180 mil? 200. 200 mil. They don't tell you how fast they go though, so I kind of want to just try that right now. Two 200 mils in the front, a 120 drawing in air at the bottom, and then two 120s at the back. And it looks like, holy shnikes, you could load the top up with. Yeah, you can fit six 120s up there. <laughs> oh, freaking what? Oh my God, there's so many front panel connectors on this thing. It's like a bundle this thick between all the fans and USB and power switch and everything here. Oh, you want to overvolt them, don't I, you? Uh, I want to see what they do at 17 volts. How did I know that was coming? It's almost like we've been working together for five years. Oh, this is cool. They've got a cable management, or rather a don't bother cable management panel on the back here. And you basically just go, yep, I don't want to see any of that anymore. And you cover it up. We need to stick a sticker. I guess just like put it here? Sure. 
Wow, it takes a long time to ramp up at five volts. Give her some more juice. Let's see like seven volts. Yep, so we ended up at around 750. So let's see 12 volt now. Now we're moving. This is over a thousand RPM now. That is a substantial amount of air movement. I guess that's what they call turning it up to 11. Maybe they meant 1100 RPM. All things considered, it is not loud. No, not at all. Hit a current limit again. It doesn't want to go faster. Really? Yeah, it's going down. Oh, it's smoking. It's dead. I think when we started it with 17 volts. Oh, crap. Oh, it stinks. It's a good thing it doesn't turn on. It'll blow its smell towards you. Here you go, Alex. Ugh. This is your doing. Can you start helping me build this thing? Because it's pretty clear this is going to take a team effort. I do feel kind of bad. We don't have any more Cooler Master fans, and we're using these Lee and Lee ones instead. But they do clip together. It's pretty nice. Yeah, those are super cool. Yeah. Power lead just barely reaches the integrated power hub. Wow, this thing has two integrated RGB hubs. One here, one here. Damn. Holy crap, it's loaded for bear. Oh, I'm gonna leave this for now. That looks like an absolute fingerprint magnet. We're gonna take that off last. Oh my goodness, it's still heavy. Now's probably a good time to take a closer look at our test bench. We've got a 12900K on a, a Z690 Maximus Extreme that hopefully has the capacitor on the right way. You know, with how many motherboards still have 5.1 analog outputs, we should just do like an AliExpress surround sound speaker setup. Get subscribed if you guys wanna see that. These cable management grommets don't appear to be compatible with the back plate on this motherboard. Ow! Oh, my finger. Holy crap, even without the grommets, it's still right up against the motherboard tray. Look at the cooler compatibility from the side. Uh, is this supposed to be coming off like this? Oh, the whole thing's moving. Now, a really cool feature of this case, by the way, we've gone with a 1300 watt power supply from Seasonic because our GPU now draws <coughs> about 800 watts on its own, is that Cooler Master set out to make the power supply installation completely toolless. So two of what would normally be screw holes have been replaced with pins that go into the back of the power supply, and the other two are thumb screws. Like, really hold it in place. How the freak many hard drives can go in here? At least one, two, three, another four, that's seven. There were two more on that mid plate, that's nine. Apparently the hard drives are all toolless too, to put those in, of course. Oh, really? Yep, they have rubber instead of screws. Do you wanna go horizontal or vertical in the GPU? I think we should let the people decide. Let's just have them use the thumbs up and thumbs down on the video. Thumbs up if you want vertical, thumbs down if you want a conventional mount. <laughs> They're all thumbs up. Wow. Wow, let's go vertical. So this also has toolless GPU mounting. Ah! How are those toolless? They're just posts. Included with the case is this fairly nice Gen 4 PCIe riser. It smells kind of weird though. Oh, that's super weird. Can I smell it? <laughs> sure, Andy. <laughs> we got some weird kinks around here. Thunderbolt 4, wait, what the hell? What would you connect via Thunderbolt that you would want inside your computer? Oh, I thought I had a fart, but I feel like if I let that one go, I'd get some solid, so. I love that the theme of this build is abused hardware. We've got the shunt modded GPU, the motherboard that was prepped for Sub-Zero. We've got the fan, that's, that's no not more. abused, that's dead. <laughs> this is ridiculously easy to cable manage. Basically just cram all the stuff in the thing and then close up the latches and then cover the thing. Do you think that six fans is enough? No. We can add two more in the bottom. Let's do it. The hell am I looking at here? Triple reservoir pump combos using these brackets, just in case you're into it. I really, really appreciate these radiator mounts that just come out and you're able to attach the fans and stuff. All of our sleepers and a lot of the custom work that I've done, I've just stolen these from master cases and this one's even better. Alex, I have some concerns about negative static pressure here. I think we need more fans. Yeah, I'm already working on that, Linus. Of course Linus. you are, all right. Okay, I don't actually know how to wire this thing up. I just put this on the middle pin of the bottom one and it just completely snapped off. I got pricing from Cooler Master. How much oh. do you think it is? I'm guessing 349 US. The global price is 500 US. And in the US, because tariffs, it's $650. Yeah, that's more than I thought it would be. And I thought it would be really expensive. So this is like a 10,000D competitor in the way that they're looking at it. Well, now I feel stupid that this is our first kind of case review in 100 years. 
and it's one that nobody's gonna actually buy. Don't put that in the video, but. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this space here. Yeah, I almost feel like we should have water cooled it just to fill up that void. We ready to fire it up? Are we? A little bit of cable management, maybe. Yeah, a lot of cable management. It's good looking. I gotta give it that. I want to do this the dirty way, like you did my Intel upgrade, where instead of like doing it properly, you just put it straight through and tie it. Yeah. It's terrible. I think you mean tight and perfect. You know, they say that beggars can't be choosers. What? I'm not a beggar. I could buy my own PC. I'm an influencer now, Linus. I'll cover it. <laughs> no one will ever know. Oh, nice. Right? Oh, that's my favorite kind of cable oh, management. Oh, crap. This isn't going to work. Oh, there's a little arrow indicating where it goes. Ooh. If these were data cables, we would not do this. Oh, shoot. There's an RGB lead here. Crap. It's heavy now. You're saying that like it wasn't in the first place. <laughs> well, it's more now. I forget how this worked. <laughs> Pull. Oh, there, there we go. There was another step back. Okay, yeah, cool, 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 cool. Oh, we never put this hard drive cage back in. Um, bye bye. Moment of truth. I didn't even show the cool little block that it had for all of the front panel connectors. Yeah, you also didn't turn the power supply on. Oh, well. That looks really cool. <laughs> But why are none of our fans working? Uh, like, actually none of them. This one is working. That's the one that we plugged into the motherboard. Okay, so maybe we didn't plug in the fan hub. And all the panels are coming off. Let there be light! Is it okay to plug in USB headers when the system's on? I mean, no, but yes. Awesome! Okay. Yes. Ow. Screen's on? Yeah. Yay! What's the screen showing? Make it yours. But the $500 isn't enough to make it mine. If you look here, you can see they probably wanted to do curved glass here, but like Corsair probably discovered that it was cost prohibitive. Remember that early prototype of the 10,000D? Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's the resolution of this display? I don't know, it looks pretty good. It looks great. This is why you should never give your friends your computer's password. Should we get the smoke machine? While we wait for the smoke machine to fire up, why don't you talk me through what we're doing here? So we got Prime 95, Furmark running concurrently. I see what you mean about the GPU. How high did the thermals go on this? So it's power limited then? No, it's thermals limited. Probably the memory is at 112. That's probably what's limiting us right now, or 110. At the temperatures of the CPU or the GPU, we're going to be looking at Gosh core speeds. clocks, yeah. This top exhaust doesn't even feel like it's heated up. Rear exhaust, yes, coming right off the CPU cooler here. Is it overclocked? Nope, this is stock. It's doing 4.9 gigahertz. Let's get fogged up. Hello? Do we have fluid? Yeah. Bang, oh, I told them. Order the good one, and they came back to me with this. I have an idea. Do we still have LN2 here? <laughs> Sorry. How are we looking? Well, I'm, I'm not able to see like anything. You can't see it anything? It just immediately disappears. There's so much airflow. Uh, okay. It looks like it's going in and then probably uh, up and out. <laughs> damn, I wish our smoke machine was working. How do our results look? Marginally worse, I would say. Turns out fans work, but there's no substitute for just drawing completely fresh ambient air in. I'm actually surprised. Oh, oh, I'm not. I mean, it's like, damn. As for the GPU, it's identical. The clock speeds, temperatures are both effectively the same. And you should know it's about a half a degree cooler in here now in the case than it was before. So for an air-cooled build, is it as good as literally putting your motherboard on a cardboard box? No. Meaning it's not the best bang for the buck case on the market, but... <laughs> I don't think that's what Cooler Master was going for with the half 700 Evo. As for the looks, maybe polarizing. Personally, I think it looks really cool. And I think especially for a water-cooled build. Man, could oh, you yeah. ever do a cool loop in here, hey? Two radiators up top. Use this to feed them with fresh air. Another radiator in the bottom. Man. Loads of pump spots. Dead silent. Micro Center gives you the best prices and best selection on computer hardware and everything else technology at all of their 25 locations across the US. You can check out Micro Center's custom PC builder to spec out the best PC for your budget. They'll ensure that all of your parts are compatible, find stock available for you at the nearest Micro Center location, then just add it to your cart and you can arrange for same day in-store pickup. For a fee, you can check the box marked same day pro assembly and one of Micro Center's expert technicians will assemble your PC for you. If you need help deciding what parts to put in your custom game, 
gaming PC, join the online Micro Center community. It's a great place to discuss tech with other enthusiasts. And new Micro Center customers can even get a free 128 gig flash drive and 128 gig micro SD card at the link down below. No purchase necessary, valid in store only limit one coupon per customer. If you guys are looking for another video to watch, maybe check out the last time we did a build in a Cooler Master half case when we used a two horsepower fan. That had the most airflow. <laughs>